Now let's take a more detailed look at getting some information about the state of the server and the databases on that server. So again, within our workbench, we're just going to go to our navigator. And we saw earlier where we can just get some, some quick statistics, if you will, about the server status. But if you need more detailed information about the server and in particular, the databases that reside on that server, then you're going to want to go to the status and system variables. Within there, you see there's the two categories of status and system. And by and large, status variables uh, deal with the state of the server itself. So you can see what I can do is to select the category over here first. And if I select all, of course, you see absolutely everything that is happening on that particular server. So you select any given category, then of course it narrows down for just that particular feature. For example, under general, uh, you see all kinds of information about temporary files, open tables, select statements that have been issued, things like that. Uh, in particular, maybe if you go to performance, uh, you can see query costs, performance schema includes a few other ones. Uh, and it just tells you, of course, the state of any given value here uh, and, and the count as to what's happening here. And of course, there's the description which tells you what that particular variable is all about so those ones again generally are more related to the to the server itself and then under system variables you start to see a few more that uh, are, are more along the lines of the database activity that's happening so again i can see for example under logging options uh expire logging days how many how much logging information is happening uh, some general options for that as well the name of the query log file uh, networking statistics um, i mean there, there's tons of them obviously so you may have to do a little bit of searching through maybe the help system and the tutorials to find out you know what what all of these mean there there are obviously quite a few but when you do have a bit of an idea as to which one you're looking for or at least the category that you might be searching for, you can use this search line here. So let's say I don't want to have to go through all of these options to find what I'm looking for. I'm interested in information on indexes. Well, all you have to do is type in index here, and it shows you that there are the values right there that have anything to do with indexing. So account of create indexes, account of drop index statements are right there. Maybe I want to find out uh, information on triggers. Same deal. I just type it in and there's everything that involves triggers. So a pretty powerful search feature right there. And that obviously makes it very quick and very easy to find out the information that you're interested in particular. Now, another nice option for doing maybe larger scale analysis or a bulk analysis, if you will, is the options down below here to copy a select item to the clipboard or in fact you see copy global status and variables to the clipboard so if we were to do this option we can click on this okay and nothing happens it just by doing that but if i start notepad now i can paste that in and there you see is the entire list of every value so i can dump that out into a notepad file maybe excel might be a better example so i can do some filtering and some sorting and things like that but this gives me the values now for absolutely everything and if i were to use something like excel i can search a little more appropriately and effectively and maybe group and categorize these using my own method of analysis so a lot of information is there, and it certainly will take some time to get familiar with all of the options, but you do have all kinds of variables that you can, you can look up and get the status of at any point in time within your MySQL server.